Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to use the star on the bender. What we're going to do today is we're going to use the star on the bender to bend a 90. Star takes out of the equation all the math. And it also, depending on like if you've got another bend in here, um, it could take possibly make it a lot easier for you to pull up the short end of a piece of pipe versus some long offset and a kick and all this other jazz you got. So, like I said guys, this is a real easy way to um, just basically bypass all the math, you know, and um, pull your bend up. Now, there is some very important stuff with using the star on your bender. If you were to pull the measurement, so if you were to pull, let's say this was your piece of pipe, and you were to pull, let's say you were going to do a two foot 90, all right? So you mark it right here. Now you see the way my tape measure is sitting? Normally, you would put the bender in and pull this end up, this end right here. But on the star, you have to turn your bender around so your hook is facing this way. Because that is the basically backside of your 90, basically is what it's saying, okay? It takes all the math out of it, all the guesswork, you just do it and boom. But you always wanna make sure if you have another band that's level the way you want it and all that. So basically, if you pull a measurement with your tape measure this way, right? Normally, you would put the bender in and pull up like this. You would put the bender in, right? And you would pull it up. Well, with the star, since you pulled the measurement from this point here to this point, you would just flip it around and put that mark that you marked at two foot on your star and you would pull it up and it would be exactly the measurement you need. Now I'm gonna bend one just so you guys can see. And hopefully, on my last video, uh, the daggum battery went dead right in the middle of the bending and that really sucks. So I just put a fresh battery in so it should be right. Some of you guys may recognize this uh, three-point saddle. You know, I've done a lot of these videos already. Got a lot more coming up. So if you want to check that video out, I'll leave a link right there. So let's go ahead and jump right on into this uh, star. All right, so ordinarily I'd have a longer piece of pipe, but I want to keep this as much frame as I can. So, all right, so what I like to do when I use the star for sure, is I like to make sure I keep my tape measure the same distance I'm doing. So what I will do every time. Now, we're going to bend this at two foot, okay? So this part right here will be two foot. And you see my measure, right? It's facing this way. So what I do, and I do this every time, I'll take my Sharpie, and I'll mark two foot, okay? And I'll take my sharp and my pencil and I'll mark just a little mark like this. That way I know that means to me, this is just a tip for me and you. That means right there that I need to face that bender handle this way. If I don't see that mark, um, I know that it's just a normal bend. Now, why, why would I do that? There has been numerous times over my career where some journeyman says, hey, give me a blah, 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 and I go to bend it. Oh, wait a minute, we're going to take a break first. And I walk away. Come back, you know, 20 minutes, 30 minutes later, and I'm like, uh, okay, what was that measurement again? I may have four or five bends to make, but when I see this one, I know exactly what that means. To me, that's just my own personal tip. And I just gave that over for free, guys. All right, 30 minutes later, hey, guys, what's going on? I got to put this pipe and this bender like this. That represents to me that hook needs to face that way. So having said that, let's see what to do next. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this into the bender and there's the star. Correct? And we're going to lay it on the ground. I'm just showing you in the air what it looks like. So this will be on the ground obviously, but so the star, the very long part of the star goes right on that line. Let's bend this sucker and see what happens. All right, so we're gonna lay this down here. Now we know we gotta lay this hook that way. So we'll put it in the bender. And what I do to make sure it's right is I'll angle my level, I'll angle my bender down a little bit and I'll pull that mark right to the star so that star would just keep going straight on down. And then I'll just roll it up. All right, hold a little pressure down on her and pull her up. All right, now sometimes, I didn't say this last time on my 
90 video, but sometimes I'll put make sure I put plenty of force on my foot. On my bender handle, I'll put it on the very top like I'm doing right here, and I'll grab the pipe. Always want to keep the most pressure right here. Let your foot and the bender do all the work. Okay, let's see if that's level. So it's under a bit, just a little bit. So no problem, right? We'll just tweak it a little bit, a little bit more. All right. Guys, that thing right there is damn near perfect. All right. So now we know that our measurement was from this way. So let's see what, if it is, let's see if it is two foot exactly. It should be exactly two foot. All right, there you see it. It's about a 16th shot. So the last video I did um, with this bender, it looks like it's about a 16th shot. Could be the concrete, but I doubt it because it's pretty, it's pretty close to being level. But it's about a 16th shot, guys. You can fudge that in a connector pretty easy. And that's all there is to that star. Like I said, you know, it's very good to know your bender. Uh, that's a 16th off ain't too bad. I think I can live with that, so. Hey, it is what it is, guys. All right, next video will be about kicks. So if you're interested in watching that, make sure you go down, hit that bell button, hit notification all on, so you guys will see how to do it. I'm going to basically explain in depth on how to do a kick, what's the best route to do and stuff like that. They're pretty easy, so it's like no magic in it, but, you know, anyway. So make sure you subscribe. Like this video, and we'll see you on the next one. Have a great day. God bless.